Good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of the Multifamily Minute with Old Capital. James, what kind of interest rates can you get on a multifamily deal these days? So I hear this question like almost every day. Uh, people are wondering like wh where are interest rates at right now, and it's going to change probably before this video even comes out. But in a general, in a general sense, right now, I would say if you start um, like sort of Fannie and Freddie, right now you're probably 375 to 4 percent fixed. Um, so it's usually about a 200 basis point spread over your 10-year treasury. So 10-year treasury is right now about 2% and so fixed rate's about 4% right now on Fannie and Freddie. Uh, most people aren't able to get deals the size right now on Fannie and Freddie, so we're having to do bridge loans. And so bridge loans are usually priced over SOFR or LIBOR and right now those are anywhere from probably about 350 to 400 over SOFR and, LIFR, so, and LIBOR. So they're starting at 4% or 375 and then every time the Fed raises their rate, let's say 25 basis points or 50 basis points, then your floating rate's gonna come up. So you might start at 375, but then you might end up at 425, 450, 475 over the next couple years. And then the last uh, bucket would really be like sort of your fixed rate on like a recourse bank loan. So let's say um, you're buying a smaller deal, like one to five million, and um, it doesn't qualify Fannie or Freddie or the leverage is really low, you might do a recourse bank loan and that'll come in at probably four to four and a half percent. So it'd be wise for multifamily investors to stay in contact with their mortgage broker? It'd be very wise to stay in contact with your mortgage broker. And um, a lot of the things that determine, like a lot of people are looking at interest rates, trying to figure out, all right, which one should I choose? Should I choose floating, should I choose fixed? Um, those are important, but then the, the, the more important thing is actually, when do you think you're gonna sell the property? Right, because if you do a longer term fixed rate, let's say 10 years or 12 business years, plan. yeah, what's yeah. your business plan, what's your exit plan, and then you sell it in year two, year three, you're gonna have a larger yield maintenance penalty. So even if your interest rate is a little bit higher, but you're able to get, let's say, a step down prepay or 1% prepay, then that allows you um, a lot more flexibility. And that little, let's say you pay 20 basis points more in interest rate, it actually doesn't make that big of a difference to your returns. But having a smaller prepayment penalty will make a huge difference on your returns.